many years of saying that she wanted to scrub the mats and get them all clean. It's finally being done. How are they turning out? Uh, they're turning out good. They're quite dirty after being on the boat for about four years without being cleaned. <laughs> so yeah. Are all the spots coming out of them? Or? Uh, this is the worst one. The one that was in the kitchen. So up here was oh, the worst part. Well, get back to work. I'm getting back to work. Today we finally put the mask back on after about three weeks of it being on the hard. We're over going over to the boat now to motor over so that way we can get it lifted. We spent most of yesterday <clears throat> stepping our mast and trying to tune it, but we didn't get quite there. So we're gonna start again. So this will be day two of tuning the mast. The tension is just not quite right. So we're gonna loosen everything up and restart again. Finally leaving Lance Corona today, right? Yeah. All the work is done. Been here way too long. Feels good to go. So what are we gonna be doing now? Going up to Helsingborg. Oh, we're gonna dock, no. We're gonna fuel. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fuel the boat and then after that, we're gonna go straight up to Helsingborg so we can fill up our gasoline. We tried to leave, but the cooling system stopped putting water through and I can see why. Because like we got our filter right there and it is completely clogged. So now we got to unclog that before we can get going again. This is our raw water strainer that takes out all the big chunks before it gets, before the water goes into our engine. And it is looking like it is packed out here I'm not putting it in our sink. Let me see that. That's all. That was a lot of gunk. Yeah, a lot of gunk. Okay, fill me up here what happened. Well, we were trying to get off the dock, all the seaweed blew in. And so I think when we we're trying to get off the dock we just sucked up a bunch of stuff and clogged this and it was clogging our raw water cooling. We were getting no water coming through so we had to make an emergency pit stop here to this up. Hopefully there's not more, you know, in the system that's clogged somewhere. Let's see if this this works. Let's hope this works. Let's hope it works. We want to see a lot of water coming out. Come on. Yeah, but that's not a whole lot. No. I think we have to flush it. Yeah, I think so too. To be on the safe side. Okay, we drained the filter. And it still seems like there might be more stuck in the... 
stuck in the pipe that goes down to the bottom of the ship. So this happened one time before, so we're just going to get a hose, shove it down there, turn it on, flush it back out the way, and then hopefully that will fix the problem. Okay, one more time. I think that may have done it. I can hear hear the water going through the, the hose and out the boat. I'm not sure if you can see this, but you can see how it's bubbling up, doing a lot better than before, where it wasn't even bubbling up. So I think we fixed the problem and we cleared light. The water is coming out much better. I would say problem averted. Uh, ready to get out of here. Hopefully this is the final final try or final because it's been a lot of coming back. You order. Let's see if we get out of here. On our way out we discovered that there still was a problem with the raw water but only above 1500 RPMs. For the third time we turned around and headed back to port. Trying to maybe see what was causing the problem we stuck a GoPro in the water in hopes of seeing something. Luckily, we got a glimpse of the problem. A piece of string, which we would later find out, collected a bunch of seaweed around it and was blocking the intake enough to restrict the water flow at higher RPMs. This is when we called in a diver to help fix the problem. <laughs> 